Hey everyone, um, welcome. And today I'm gonna share with you a little bit about goal setting. Cause I think that it's something that people often don't know how to do, right? They're like, I'm gonna start a business and I'm gonna help some people and maybe I'll make some money and yeah, we'll see how it goes. That's sort of how people start, right? And I don't know if it's that, you know, in real life we don't set a lot of goals or that goals make people nervous. Like, okay, if I set a goal, I have to meet it. But the reality is goals set your expectations for yourself. So if you aren't goal setting, it's gonna be very, very hard for you to be successful. So when I started in this business, I didn't start with any goals. I said, like, I just want to get my discount. I just want to, you know, help myself, and that's about it. And then I started to realize that I was going to do more with the business. And um, I didn't set goals in the beginning. And then I started to set goals, and they were small goals. So, like, I knew that, you know, in the long term, I wanted to build a business where I was making a um, – full-time income working part-time hours. But that can't be my only goal. I have to set short-term goals. So I set goals for myself on how many people I'm gonna help every month, how many people I'm gonna help get started on their fitness journey, how many people am I gonna help get it started on their coaching journey, what events am I gonna attend, what daily activities am I gonna do so that I can help that many people every single month. My goal is to help five people every single month start on their fitness and coaching journey. That is a big goal. So I can say that, but then what am I going to do every single day in order to help those five people start on their fitness and coaching journey? Same thing for any business. If you want to you know, serve or help or um introduce a certain amount of people to your business in a certain amount of time, how many people do you have to talk to? You know, every week, every day, every hour. I don't know. You can break it down as small as you want. Me personally, I have daily goals and I do something called a power hour where I do the same activities every single day, no matter what, for that hour. That's my power hour. And I teach my team to do the same. Everyone's power hour is a little different based on their goals, but my power hour is very much based around my goals, and I stick to that power hour. Yes, there are other things that you can do in your business that are fun, like work on your website and create fun flyers and um, you know go to fun events and all that sort of stuff. But like for me, I know that I have to do these core activities in order to help my five people every single month. And that is really, really, really important to me. But if I was just saying like pie in the sky, you know, I want to build a full-time income doing part-time work, that doesn't help me get there. I have to figure out what those activities are every single day that I have to do. So I want you to start setting some goals around your business. Like what are you going to do every single day, week, month in order to hit those goals? And I want you to actually do those activities. So I think people set goals and they look at them and then they don't act on them. They don't act on the activities that they have to do to hit those goals. Um, so I think that it's really important to kind of get in that mindset of goal setting. So I hope that this was helpful for you guys. Um, I know that, like I said, when I started this business, I didn't set goals. And I think it really hindered me. And now I'm able to set goals and dream big by setting small attainable goals that allow me to see this huge big picture because that huge big picture is going to come true as long as I do my daily goals and activities. So if you found value in this, feel free to share it out and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.